Okay, round two. We're on the play. We're going to play first. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good hand. I think the Anticipate makes it. Okay, opponent is finally with us. Let's get this show on the road. Another black red deck, you say. Interesting. Oh, I said it interesting again. Gotta knock it off. I think our opponent might be double queuing. Maybe not. Carrier thrall. Okay. We're going to anticipate here because... Oh. Oh, three lands. Well, I don't really have a need for a tap land, so all right. Wow. We Jeez. There were four lands we had to get through there? What does that mean? We bottomed three lands. So we've already seen nine lands, which means in the top 27 cards of our deck, there should only be eight lands, which means we have like less than 30% chance of, uh, I actually I kind of don't mind him using Ruinous Path there, to be perfectly honest. What? Another land. That's not good. Oh no. We be in trouble. I think we might need to actually rip a spell here, believe it or not. Deck. That's not nice, Deck. What does that mean? I think it means we only have six lands left in the top 25 cards. Jeez. All right, actually, not the worst draw, since we can at least block the Bear of Silence now. We had a, does that mean we had five lands in a row, right? Anticipate, land, 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 draw, land, draw, land. Is that what just happened? That is a crazy little uh, bundle of lands. That guy's big. At least we got the Reclaimer, huh? Ooh. Take that. Uh, I don't really want to attack. I don't know what I'm going to do about that territorial bear loss. I need like an oblivion strike or a containment membrane or something. Can't even triple block it. If he has the land drop, that is. But 
Seems like he doesn't have the land drop, right? Or otherwise, wouldn't he just play the land? I mean, it's pretty worrisome he's got presumably... Oh, no. <laughs> That's not pretty. All right. Well, I'm going to do blocks like this, I guess. I don't anticipate this going our way. Mm, it seems pretty bad. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It's a pretty powerful card I gotta worry about now though. Alright, well, honestly it could have been worse. Let's find a removal spell. Pathfinder is acceptable. At least now I can double block the Bayloth. I'm not even sure that was the best use of Fall the Titans. I think we just double block the Bear Loss. Uh, well, now I'm a little more tempted to eat his other guys, I guess. Hmm. Problem is, Scour trades, and then I can't do anything about the Bear Loss after that. But getting two guys... Well, it's not even really getting two guys off the board, is it? I feel like my best odds are keeping the Pathfinder. So let's just eat a couple guys. And take a bunch of damage. Oh, that's not good. Wow. <laughs> His uh, opponent basically Muay Thai clinched me like two minutes into the match and just repeatedly rammed his knee into my chin like 30 times. That is exactly how, this, how that game went down. Wow. That did not work out well for us. Let's see if we can find a better distribution of spells and lands in game two, because we're going to need it. I think Negate's coming in. we got to stop that stupid uh, Fall of the Titans. That card is what's known as in the business as powerful. Very, very powerful. Those are business terms there, technical terms. Uh, what do we want to cut for that? I don't know. I probably can cut Rush of Ice, I guess. Actually, how good is Flying Tendrils? Let's see. Kills Science Summoner, kills Carrier Thrall, does not kill Bayloth, kills Bear of Silence. Yeah, we're keeping Tendrils. We'll dump the Rush of Ice and try this again. All right. Yeah, it's a keep. It's definitely a keep. Now the question is, do I want to play a turn two Mist Intruder? That I don't quite have the answer to. I may want to. Set up for Flaying Tendrils at some point. Get a few ingests in. Yeah, we're going to go for it. 
Flying Tendrils probably won't be played for a couple turns yet, so I think if we just ingest a couple times, Miss Intruder will have done its job. Oh, well now I have a blocker for Bearer of Sounds, so I'm okay with that too. Alright. So what do we want out of this Anticipate? I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. I want a creature that survives flaying tendrils, I guess, huh? There's one. Ooh, there's another one. We're going to go for the Infiltrator first. Because better use of mana, right? Hmm. That seems worth uh, O striking since I cannot block it. And containment membrane is better served doing something else, I think. So, alright, let's just get this guy out of the way. I uh, don't really want to attack here. We don't have a need for ingest yet. Plus we have tendrils to get exile effect anyway. And actually we already exiled something, so. Alright, unfortunately his deck's a lot of fatties. Which is unideal. And I have no way to tap the stupid path warden either, which is a problem. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that Path Warden. Unfortunately, Flaying Tendrils did not look as sexy. It does not look as sexy now as I wanted it to be. I'm still two lands away from the minimum Crush of Tentacles value that I'm looking for. And Containment Membrane looks real, real bad against Path Warden. This is a problem. This is a problem. Guess the play is Blinding Drone, Swing with Infiltrator. If he has removal from Drone, he's going to get in with the Summoner, but I don't know what to tell you. It ain't all good. Yeah, the Vigilance there is the real, the real kick in the face. And we only milled a Land Bomber. I was hoping to get something relevant there. Bummer, bro. Yeah, that's pretty bad news bears for us. Negate, huh? <laughs> uh, big, big, big trouble, aren't we? We're in some big old trouble here. All right, well, we'll have to rip another O-Strike or Ulamog's Reclaimer, I guess, would help. It let us bring back our thing. Yeah, we're in some big old trouble here. All right. Make me use my stupid negate. Uh, running out of time to find the answer for that path warden. Really hoping he doesn't kill our infiltrator here, but I don't know if that attack makes a ton of sense otherwise. And the only reason I'm saving tendrils is because I 
still holding out hope there's something I can answer. Jeez. <laughs> we are getting destroyed. Well, if only I could surge. I, unfortunately, I think it's in our best interest to uh, crush the tentacles here. I don't love it. I don't like it. But I think it's what we're going to do. Gives us, I guess, a turn to draw an O-Strike, I guess. <laughs> what else could we draw? There must be something else, right? No? Reclaimer. Reality Smasher. Cryptic Cruiser. Sweep Away. I guess Reality Smasher is not something I want to draw. Can it be Gorger? So, let me get this straight. Flank Tendrils was the worst possible card I could have kept in my... <laughs> is that right? Uh, seems right. So, I guess we play the Infiltrator. I think we're actually going to end up taking the Gorger and membraning it. Because we're probably going to need to sweep away the, the other thing. The stupid Tajuru Path Warden. That's not a good draw. I mean, I guess I can take the Path Warden from the top of his deck with my Infiltrator. That's kind of good news. But then, if I don't come up with an answer for the other thing here, then I guess I kind of die. But at the same time, I kind of need to get that Path Warden off the top of his deck there. Oh, he gets both here. It's pretty sexy for him. So, yeah, we can get rid of the Path Warden, and then we're going to have to... Let's see, we have seven lands. All right, well... we got to get rid of that Path Warden. I mean, this much is clear, so let's swing with the Infiltrator. Now I guess we're going Warden plus Flank Tendrils. What a nasty uphill battle I've felt like this entire match has been. Oh, it's just another Tajiro Path Warden. No problem. A reality smasher I can't play. Wow. All right. Uh, opponent kind of didn't even... I didn't even feel like we were in this game. <laughs> At any point during this game, I never... Or during this match, this whole match... I never felt like we were in this match, even a little bit. We got smashed so hard. <laughs> that was what is known in the business as a brutalization. So that was some brutality right there. Very sick. Very, very sick. All right. Moving back to the old Swiss bracket. And hopefully doing uh, better there. See you back in Swiss, folks.